Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and on today's video we're gonna be blocking out and stylized character a vintage boxer I found on Pinterest, I couldn't find the, who was the artist but let's get started so we're gonna start with a with a polygonal sphere everything that we're gonna do here is with the sphere so we're gonna just rough out the shapes so first I'm gonna start with the head and uh, just kind of like give it the shape you can see in your cursor like a right in the top of corner in the right side that you have a head so you can just kind of like base your shape from it and then I'm gonna paint another sphere so every th single thing that we're gonna do is just gonna be uh, through spheres make sure that, that you uh, activate symmetry every time that you append a, a new sub tool because sometimes like uh, it doesn't come with, with uh, uh, symmetry activated so might as well have it like that uh, and I'm just gonna be appending and appending spheres you see what happened there I didn't turn on symmetry so I have to go back so just make sure you turn symmetry all the time and this is just a block of process this is uh, you know just to have the base of it have the proportions in shape um, it's a pretty fun process doesn't take that long I actually this took me like around uh, 40 minutes 30 minutes or so uh, these videos speed up uh, probably like three times the stylized uh, the, the no stylized the detailing part actually took me longer but this one it didn't take me that long so as you can see here, I'm just uh, doing kind of like a, everything is through through the spheres and I just give the shape, the desired shape that, I, that I'm looking for. Yeah, so I kind of like uh, work uh, from top to bottom. I start with the head, then the neck, the chest, part of the stomach, then the pants or the wrist and so on. Then I flatten out the part of the of the wrist so I can do kind of like the, the shorts or the trunks and I dynamesh that part I didn't dynamesh anything before I just dynamesh that part because I needed to stretch out uh, the the hanging part, parts of the shorts as you can see in the design if you guys know who is who, who is the designer uh, or who created this illustration you will let me know please so I can give proper credit I didn't I couldn't find who was it but if I find out definitely give a credit to it because it's a really cool cool character and obviously I want to give credit to all people who have uh, any art uh, and, and I do the three models it's the right thing to do and then I do the legs and for this uh, part the same the same case scenario I just do a leg a, a sphere and then I kind of like uh, do the shape move and then I duplicate uh, the part of the, the upper leg, I duplicate to do the, the lower leg and I start chipping around like kind of like uh, as uh, you see in the design even a little bit of shape in this in this case I, I, I also I think I also dynamesh this part just to because when I'm pulling and, and moving and pulling uh, some part of the geometry is gonna stretch out a lot so it kind of like it's not gonna look good so I just rather to stress out. So now that I can see that I had kind of like a, my full body, like the, the height of it almost, I started kind of like working a little bit of, on the proportion. So that's why I kind of like pull down the head and the neck. Then for the feet, I kind of like give the, the, the normal shape. I didn't care about much about like a, how bad it looks like in the bottom of the sole of the foot but because at the end I was just gonna end up like just trim it on the side and make it like a straight flat to it just like that like you can see and then I kind of like fix a little bit more but you see like in the top was kind of like pinchy but I fixed that with a dynamesh after so for me this part is just just to block out just to have a better sense of how the character is gonna look or how it's looking so yeah i had like a in this case i have a, a move by a polygroups 
activated so that so I, I couldn't move properly. Then I went to the knee, and the knee is just a single sphere, and that gives me like a, a, a little bit of volume that I'm gonna use once I start uh, dynamesh everything and um, and detailing. So for this part, I, I did something wrong here and I deleted by mistake when I merged, I went back and, and I deleted. So I kind of like had to <laughs> go back and, and, and make that lower part of the of the leg again, of the low, lower leg. I don't know how you say like this part of the of the shin and the and the calves. But uh, to be honest, that didn't take me that long. So I just redo it again it could practice sometimes sometimes when you do it like you do it once and takes so long and then you do it the second time and takes it, it takes shorter and because you know the process it happens to me a lot when i'm doing modeling uh, in, when, when i'm working for the studio in a production when i do modeling sometimes I, it takes me long to do some stuff and it, it's not working out and i'll do it again and my, it, it becomes the process more efficient than it was before so in this part, I kind of like uh, trying to polygroup the leg in different polygroups and then duplicate it. So I can just move it in case I need to move it in a way. Then I think I'm gonna move right to the shoulders, arms, and so on. And this is just, uh, you know, kind of like giving the shape of the block and everything that I did, if you see, is about the spheres. Everything is with the spheres and the move tool. I, I haven't get, gotten into anything fancy. It's just kind of like building a mannequin. Pretty much is what it is, just building a mannequin. And, um, and I'm just going to do one arm, just going to introduce the shoulder, then the biceps, then the forearm, and then I'm going to mirror it and uh, mirror it next. Okay, so as you can see, all that I'm using is the move tool and kind of like give like kind of like the rough shape of it and the block out of of the of the character and you just move and kind of like a try to represent what i'm seeing in the reference pretty much i'm not gonna worry about posing right now because um, i like to work in symmetry because it takes it saves you time. You don't have to model one side and then the other side, depending on the pose that you're doing. Sometimes, I don't know, I, I just have to find like the proper workflow for it. But people, norm, normally people have like a T-pose and then they use the, 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 the T-pose or the, yeah, the, the, to make the poses in, in, in the C-plug in, in ZBrush. This T-pose is called, but, uh, but yeah, like that, that's the idea. Just so, so, so you have a T pose in a lower resolution and then you can just pose it as you wish. Um, kind of like uh, practicing a lot of posing lately because uh, it's something that I really lack and I'm not good at. So I want to learn a lot from it, uh, about it. Um, so I've been practicing a little bit and kind of like having more like an understanding of how the shoulders move when the hip is on the one side or so. I just kind of like try to represent better my poses because I really suck at it. It's not that I suck, I just find like a, if I have a rig into a character, I can pose it much better than kind of like a, in, in zeros because you know, when you have a rig, you can move the hips and everything. So it gives you kind of like a better natural pose. But in, in zeros, the, the weird thing is like you have to move it and you know your your feet are not locked to the ground and that's the difficulty that i have is because the feet are not locked in the ground and uh, yeah so now i'm just doing here the the same case scenario from a from a sphere i'm doing the globs and uh using obviously dynamesh because i'm stretching some some parts and uh, and i'm moving some parts masking and move to to get the the, the general shape of the globe and yeah just moving just taking the the thumb up i did that on the wrong side but yeah so i have it i mask i move and and a really really low resolution like 128 resolution i think that i have from, from for this dynamish and um 
I think it's 256, so I don't know. 256 or 128. But anyways, it looks much better when, when I, uh, after I start detailing and, and, and go through the process. This is a process, just the, the, the foundation of your character. So it's very important to have a, a good blockout or at least an okay blockout. So you have good proportions, you have good, um, mostly proportion and shapes, you know, you have to have like a really good shapes and good proportions in your characters. If you want to have a successful character, everything comes from the foundation have a good foundation of uh, how it's going to be represented and how it's going to look. But um, I really enjoyed this project. It was pretty fun. So, yeah, that's it. And then I duplicated and modified a little bit the, the globe as well because that's kind of like a little bit too much. Um, I still, in the detailing process, I, I still move stuff around. But this is it. This is, And then I duplicated and mirror it. And there you go. I have it. So if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, like, share with your friends. Don't forget to watch my other two videos. And stay tuned for... Friday, I'm re releasing the uh, uh, the detailing of the stylized character, okay? So just stay tuned. It's going to be a nice video, good process, so you guys can check it out. Take care and have an amazing day, guys. See you soon.